Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at this, the color mixer. It allows you to pick specific colors, okay, and change the hue, saturation, and luminance. Look at our little parrot here, I'm going to change the blues, and oh, look at that, very cool. All right, so it allows us to pick specific colors and make adjustments. This is fun, but we'll also do more of a real world example where we're not changing the color so much as exaggerating individual ones rather than dragging them all up in the vibrance like we did earlier on. We're gonna pick specific colors and make adjustments. That's what it does. Let me show you how it works. All right, let's bring in some images. Uh, Command Shift I on a Mac, Control Shift I on a PC. And can you bring in color 16 to 19? Bring in those four import them and let's open up the parrot so double click them okay e for your editing settings and what we're going to do is look to change the color of this handsome girl guy face okay so what we can do down here is we can say actually i want to change the blues okay and i want to change the hue of it watch this drag <gasps> yay very cool Okay, so give that a go. Uh, grab the blue, drag it around, pick a new color. Uh, do the same for another color. Let's go for the greens. Let's change the hue. Ooh, very cool. Okay, so this is a little different from say like Photoshop where you're completely changing the colors. You're just kind of shifting them, okay? It's not giving you like the full color spectrum. It's just kind of like, okay, it was a little bit green. I want it to be a little bit more yellow, okay? And yeah, let's grab the oranges. You get the idea, okay? So often we're not changing colors. That's kind of cool, but that's still mostly a job for Photoshop. It does it better. What's really good about Lightroom, okay, is working on, cause that's, I don't know, you might be um, trying to change the color of parrots all the time. Most of the time though, we're doing things like, um, let's grab this. Where we're not changing the color a huge amount. We're often just raising it up. So that's why there's hue, saturation and luminance down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick kind of the tealy color, okay, and we, we can adjust the hue. Okay, depending on what, I like the teal. Okay, you can change it if you like. Okay, but what we want to do is grab the saturation. Just drag it all the way up to see what it does. Ooh, look at that. Tropical amazingness. Okay, eyeball on, eyeball off. So often that's what you're using color mixer for. Grabbing a color and exaggerating it, accentuating it. Okay, so that's the saturation. Okay, we've yanked that up a bit. Luminance is how dark and light that color is. So you can make it a darker teal or a lighter one, depending on what you want to do. Okay, so just real subtle adjustments. What I often like to do is, because sometimes you're like, is it teal, is it blue? Okay, what color is that? Is that sand? Okay, is it yellow, is it orange? Okay, so if you click on yellow, just give it a drag and just uh, see what is it changing. It's, yeah, it's grabbing a lot of the sand. So you might've nailed it. Let's go to the orange, give that a drag back and forth. There's a bit of orange in there as well. So we're gonna have to do both. So let's grab the yellow to start with and I'm gonna increase the saturation a bit. Luminance back and forth. I think I like it a bit darker. Okay, and grab the orange as well because there's a bit of both in there. I'm not gonna adjust the hue. Things like grasses often all green up and skies maybe make a little bit more blue, but often it's the saturation and the um, luminance that we're working on. So back and forth, don't be afraid, be scared of the saturation. I know we've done, I said don't use saturation up here, yeah, that rule doesn't apply down here. There is no vibrance. Why isn't there? It's because we're dealing with just one single color, whereas up here we're dealing with all the colors. Okay, whereas down here we're being a little bit more specific. So we can use saturation down here. Great way of breaking your own rules, Dan. There we go. Okay, before, after. There's blues in the boat lids as well. Boat lids. <laughs> Dan, the sea captain. <laughs> Welcome to my boat lid. Um, all right, so I'm dragging that up. It's affecting here as well, okay? So I'm gonna have to kind of keep that in mind. Luminance, brightness, oh, looky there. Preview on, preview off, preview on, preview off. Nice, okay, and you can just click on these. And you know, if I grab this magenta here, it's not gonna do anything. There's no magenta in there. Sometimes you're surprised, you're like, oh, look at that. There's magenta in there somewhere, but there doesn't seem to be any in this photograph. But yeah, eyeball on, eyeball off. So have a play with both of these, have fun changing the color of the parrot, and then see if you can accentuate the water and the um, sand in here. Greens I might touch as well. Can you see there's greens in here? And there's nothing wrong with dragging the saturation down as well. Like my, like if we don't want our focus to be up here, we might decide to pull some of the saturation out of that green so that the kind of focus is on the boats and the water. Okay, or we might drag it, probably not all the way up, Let's drag it all the way up so we can see what it's doing and then we can adjust the hue. Can you see I can make it more yellow or kind of more, you know, um, minty green. So, so look. 
So I'm going to leave it where it was. Saturation up a little bit before, after, before, after. Nice. Now we're focused on the color mixer. You should be working on the light as well. So let's do that afterwards. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I think I'll lower the exposure a little bit overall and then bring parts back in with contrast up a little bit with the highlights and the whites. So I kind of made everything dark using the exposure down and then kind of counteracted that with the lights and dark. So pretty on, pretty off. Oh, I'm liking it. Shadows and highlights. Yeah, maybe kind of remove the focus of uh, this kind of cloud side, or sorry, shadow side of the, there we go, probably leave that where it was. All right, uh, backslash, before, after, before, after. Probably a little bit too far, especially kind of in here, it's getting a little purpley, but it's good. All right, so that's the color mixer in Lightroom. We'll do more color mixer in the next video as well. We'll go a little bit more, tiny bit more advanced. I'll see you there. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, it helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.